my first guest will always be known as Magnum P.I. He's also starred in such films as In and Out and Three Men and a Baby. And starting Friday, he can be seen in The Love Letter. Please welcome Tom Selleck. <laughs> Tom, before we begin, I actually have to run, but I'm going to have Rosie O'Donnell sit in for me. Is that a problem? <laughs> Perfect. Just a couple of questions for you. Yeah. How you feel? How you feeling, by the way? I've been well, thanks. Right. Um, it's I, just, you've got a cold, or what is it you have? Well, I, I, I've been uh, working on on my movie, and I've been talking too much. Ah, I got, I all just the other talk shows, huh? Well, yeah, but I saved I saved the best for last. Ah, oh, that's pretty that good. Was, Hi, Audrey. That was Hi. nice. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I have a, uh, I had a thought, which is I found out just before the show that you were having trouble with your voice, so yeah. I talked to the people that do the closed captioning yeah. about actually maybe trying to just put what you're saying down below the oh. screen so it would be easier for people to understand what's going on. So why don't we try that right now? <laughs> well, okay? Yeah. How have you been? Uh, I've been well, thanks. Um, you know, with all this publicity... <laughs> It's worn a little thin uh, on my throat. Mm -hmm. My family's fine. The ranch is fine. Um, my avocados are just about ready to market. And basically, you know, it's been a tough junket, but, but I've got what I have. No, I do, I do work out, but thank you. Oh. I, uh, I mean, feel that. Uh, <laughs> Now, we've got to talk about something that must be worrying you a little bit, yeah. which is the, the love letter is opening against Star Wars. And oh. a lot of people, I know a lot of people would say that's bad. I actually yeah. have my own way of thinking, which is that's the best time to open a movie right now. And just listen to my reasoning. I'm okay. not crazy. People show up to go see Star Wars, right? Right. Lines around the block. You can't get in, right? right? And they're like, but I want to see a movie. I huh. Love letter. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think that could happen? Uh, I think it can happen, and obviously Star Wars got a little afraid of that, so they opened two days early. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> Lucas was panicked, right? Yeah. He, he's worried big time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with the amount of money behind this movie and the sheer force of our force. Yeah. Instead of time. <laughs> <laughs> we just got the big mo, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, it, we don't have to do that good. Um, because if we get to uh, $3 million this weekend, that kicks in the second week of advertising. But more importantly, if we get to $3 million this weekend, see, none of us got paid spit for this movie. <laughs> you, didn't so, get any, you didn't get paid for this movie? Very little. But at $3 million... The love letter action figures kick in. <laughs> There's an action figure? <laughs> what? This, uh, this puny little thing is the Liam Neeson doll. But let, me, I, let me show this to people yeah. so they can see it. Look at him, he's, he's freaking out. Look at that. Yeah. This is okay. This is a. <laughs> but. Yeah. All right, sorry. But uh, actually, I created a prototype of the George the Happy Fireman doll. And, do you, uh, play, you play a fireman in this movie? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> and, and I thought, I, I have a little demonstration. Our action figures really work. So I, I have the uh, Love Letter Water Reservoir right here. Right. If you could just hold it. And, Look, so oh, you have to hold oh, it I'm up sorry, I've done this, yeah. And if you can hold the... Uh, the Liam Neeson doll on okay. the table. Oh, okay, I see. All right. Get um, that. You All notice right. the uh, love letter action figures are huge compared to the Star Wars figure. <laughs> this is George the Fireman right. in action. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just had, I just had the crazy, as craziest experience is that your butt was right in my face. I'm holding an animal bottle. Tom Selleck's butt is right here. I 
<laughs> that, that may look like. I that. haven't had that dream in years. <laughs> that, uh, sorry. That may look like an enema bottle, but it is the uh, water reservoir. I'm sorry, the water for, reservoir no. for the uh, fireman. And if it uh, works half as good as the Magnum mug. Is, is that real? Yes. This is this was the real yeah. Magnum mug. Yeah, let me let me. Ones. I just want to. I'll be there, careful. There, there's only one of those. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Look, he's eyeing Eisenhower over here. <laughs> Why, hello there! <laughs> Meet me later. All right. <laughs> We're just playing. This is the least mature segment we've ever had. If I could just pour some water in my head, thank you. <laughs> so what, they just made one of those and they decided, well, nah. They, they actually said, would you okay this? And they sent me drawings and I right. said, I hated it, but I, I had to have one. So I said, I'm sure I'd okay it. Could you make one up? Right. So they sent me this, and I said, no. We've seen you on the streets of New York walking around with it, <laughs> drinking cocoa. Uh, yeah. Now, um, I want to ask you about one thing that I yeah. found a little, I don't know if you're up on the latest television news, but David so, Hasselhoff is oh, moving yeah. Baywatch to Hawaii. And I have actually have this theory that Hasselhoff is sort of in a weird way trying to become you. And Bear, you know what I mean? He took his Baywatch show and did Baywatch Nights, which is about a detective. Yeah. And, and, and now he's moving to Hawaii. Well, you know, actually. Growing a mustache. And he was on Young and Restless after I was on Young and Restless. You guys were on the same soap? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But he's really rich now, isn't he? Yes. Well, what are you asking me? <laughs> yes, I just went through over the books of uh, Hasselhoff. <laughs> I, no, I, I think he sold, didn't he sold Baywatch for like $800 million or something? He also emulated your German singing career. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's John Actually, you know, I got a letter yeah. from, from Germany that said, um, we want you to do a crooning album like David Hasselhoff. P.S. You don't have to be able to sing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's been proven. Yeah. No, no. Did, uh, did he... Uh, have, no, I'm so, uh, Come on. People are like, hey! I'm sorry. If a crowd's going to turn on me for, for, for putting down David Hasselhoff's German singing career, I'm getting out of the business right now. We what do you say, mean? That's reputable. We, we should say that David is a nice guy. He's a very nice yeah. guy. But he's really rich and he could rent my house. <laughs> you have a house in Hawaii that yeah. you could rent? And David has a gold car. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a mug of your head. <laughs> Together, you'd be unstoppable. Well, I gotta say, this is one of the stranger segments we've ever had. Well, I brought a lot of props because I can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> so. I never thought you'd become like a Gallagher prop comedian, but <laughs> smash a melon for us on the way out, would you? Uh, Tom Selleck, I hope you feel better soon, and thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. Very nice to have you. Tom Selleck, everyone. William Shatner. William Shatner is, of course, uh, coming up in just a minute. But first, a word from a bolder, richer, creamier Killian's Irish Red. It's so good, it'll even get Irish people interested in drinking. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around.